Praise the Lord. Prayerful greetings to everyone who listens God's promising and eternal word. Dear loving brothers and sisters, it's good to reflect about holiness because God wants and God calls everyone to be holy. That's what we read, 1 Thessalonians chapter 4, verse 7. For God did not call us to impurity, but in holiness. And number of meanings and number of ways we can explain it. But what I'm trying to bring now, something different. Because we can lead a holy life. It's true. So normally, when something happens or when any evil comes in, we try to overcome with evil. And at the end of the day, we are really totally disappointed. So I can be holy and you can be holy when we overcome evil with good. What we read, Romans chapter 12, verse 21. Romans chapter 12, verse 21. Do not be overcome by evil, but overcome evil with good. When I share this word, it's a word of God, it's not my word, it's a word of God. When I share this, how many of us can really digest it? How many of us can really understand and take it to our hearts? When you face an evil, or when something happens to you, God speaks to you, you overcome that evil with your goodness. Really, it's beautiful, but not easy. You know why? My dear brothers and sisters, when I get something evil from someone else or something else, what happens? It makes damage in my ego. When my ego hurts, I'm restless. I'm restless, totally restless. That's why I repeat and I react. I react to the person who hurt me. And I want to tell you one thing. It's really funny. When I react, if my reaction with the negative, I'm not spiritually a grown-up man. That shows that I have got immature fruit in my life. Even though God created me to bear and to produce lasting fruits, but due to everyday encounter with those evil things, I produce immature fruits. Or my fruits are not mature enough. Why? I just react with negatives and negative elements. So, my dear loving brothers and sisters, that's exactly what Jesus speaks. If you want to be holy, if you want to walk in a holy way of life, you need to overcome your evil with good. I repeat, a beautiful word. The same chapter, Romans chapter 12, verse 16. Live in harmony with one another. Do not be haughty, but associate with the lowly. Do not claim to be wiser than you are. Do not repay anyone evil for evil, but take thought for what is noble in the sight of all. And the next verse is really beautiful. If it is possible, so far as it depends on you, live peacefully with everyone. What a beautiful word. Jesus speaks to us and Jesus speaks to my heart and your heart. When something happens, when evil comes on you, you don't try to do evil back. No, when you do that, you are not going to be good. You destroy your own life. Why my fruits are not mature enough? 
why I cannot bear mature fruits in my life. Sometimes I overcome evil with evil and at the end of the day, totally disappointed, totally frustrated and scattered and coming back home and I just have my tears. I'm lonely. Why? Because I think that I can overcome evil with evil. No, brothers and sisters, the world will speak to you. That is the standard of this world. The world speaks to you, give evil to evil. Or if you get evil, just repay the same. No. If you do that, if I do that, I'm not, jo I'm not going to have that joy of life in my life. If there is no joy within me, what's the point of being a child of God? What's the point of being on earth? Just for someone else? Just for some pleasures? Just for pleasing somebody? No, that is not. That's not the intention of creation. So I make it brief. Dear loving brothers and sisters, we can be holy. We all can be holy and we can lead a holy life. When I overcome evil with good, for example, when I come to know someone speaks about me, maybe something ill about me, I'm not asking much about that person. I'm not inquiring, oh, why he said or why she said. I'm forgetting about that part. Instead, every day, I remember him or her, I make a small prayer for him. So something evil and I overcome with my goodness. So when I overcome evil with the good, I enjoy. Not only that, I help that person and that help, that person will come to know the truth tomorrow. And Jesus said, only the truth is going to make you free. And only the truth set you free. Nothing else. World will deceive me and you because they speak something good for my eyes and my, my bodies and my minds. They can't speak to my heart. Only Jesus speaks to our heart. So my only one brief sharing, overcome, overcome our evil with the good. That's a way of holiness. The best example I can show, a mother, loving mother. Let's pray. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and the hour of our death. Amen. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Vincent de Paul, pray for us. Saint George, pray for us. The name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. God bless you all. Enjoy your life.